Hello friends, welcome to my channel, Myself Parag Zambulkar. In this video, we will see how to pass command line arguments to main method in Java programming language. We will see examples in Eclipse ID. Also, we will see examples where we will write program in Notepad++ and we will run it from the terminal. So, we will start with Notepad++ and we will run it from terminal and we will pass arguments here. After that, we will see example of Eclipse ID. So here, one simple example I have written. Now see, whatever the command line arguments that we are passing, those are saved in this string array. So first argument will be ARGS0, second argument will be ARGS1, and third argument will be ARGS2. Likewise, arguments will be saved in this string array. We will run this program. So we will compile this. CLA1.java Now see, while running this program, we have to pass argument. So CLA1, this is the name of this Java file or class file. Here we are passing arguments. So see, here I am passing, I have to pass first name, middle name and last name. So I am passing my first name Parag, middle name Jaigopal and last name Jambulkar. Now see, so I have run that program. So first name Parag, that is ARGS0. ARGS1 is Jaigopal and ARGS2 is Jambulkar. And I have separated them by the white space. That is a blank space here. Second program that we'll see. So here we are passing two numbers, first argument, second argument. And we have to convert them to integer because I am passing two integers and I have to add them. But by default, what are the parameters that we are passing, those are considered as a string. Though we are passing 3, 4, 5, but still those will be considered as strings. We have to convert them to integers and that's why I am calling this method passInt. This passInt method is method of integer class. So we have to class, uh, call like this, integer dot passInt and we have to pass parameters. And then we will add it. So we will run this program. So we'll compile this. So got compiled. Now we will run this CLA2 and we have to pass two number set. So we'll pass three and five. And here we got addition eight. So first argument ARJ03. Second argument ARJ15. So this we have passed. So ARJ0, ARJ1. We got the addition eight. Now see, uh, before getting addition, before calculating addition, we have to convert them to integer, right? So that's why we have to call pass int method. So it is method belongs to the integer class. So we have to call by using the integer class name. So again, same thing. Uh, we have to convert this five to integer by calling pass int method. And then we have to add. Now see, suppose we are taking double value. So in this case, in second program, we have taken integer value. In third program, we will see, now we are taking a real point value, double value from the user. So here in this example, we are taking a radius from the user and we are calculating area of circle. Now see, we will take one argument from the user that will be the double value and that is the radius of a circle. Then we are converting into the double because radius is double. In this case, we are taking radius as a double value. So see, previous example, we have called pass int method and that method belongs to integer class. Here we are calling pass double method and that method belongs to double class. So we will get radius and then we are calculating area and then we are printing on the screen. Now see, we will run this program. So our program name is CLA3.java got compiled. Now we will run this. Here we are passing only one argument, right? So suppose uh, we are passing 4.3, that is radius. So see, radius 4.3, so here we are printing it, only one argument. That that's why it is ARG0. Then we are converting to the double value by calling pass double method, which is this method belongs to double class. And then we are calculating area, like this. So in this way, we can run these programs and we can pass arguments from the command line. Now see, same thing we can do in Eclipse ID. Same program here I have written. Now see, 
three programs are there CLA1, CLA2, CLA3. So here we have to pass argument. Now how command line arguments will be passed in Eclipse ID? So see this CLA1.java right click on this. Now here run as here option is given run configurations. Click on run configurations. Now see here you will get one menu arguments. So here we have to pass that argument. Now see, so in this program, what we have to pass? First name, middle name and last name, right? So here I am passing Parag Jaigopal Jambulkar. Now see, we will run it. So here we got first name Parag, middle name Jaigopal, last name Jambulkar. Now we will run this program CLA2.java. Here we are passing two integers and we are printing addition of those numbers. So we will select it, right click on it. Then go to run as, then here run configurations, click on this, here arguments. So here we have to pass two arguments, right? three and suppose take six. Then we have to click on run. So here we got it. First argument three, second argument six and addition is nine. Now we will run third program CLA3.java. Here we are passing radius of circle and it is a double value. So again, we will right click on this, then we will go to run as, then run configurations, we will select arguments, here we will pass some values, suppose I am passing 6.2, then click on run. So here we got it, radius 6.2, area of circle is whatever the value that we got, got from the this formula. So in this way, we can pass command line arguments in Eclipse ID. So friends, I hope you like this video. If it is, then click on like, subscribe to this channel and don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video. So stay connected. Thank you.